Okay, here we have a Compact Logics processor. I have it connected via Ethernet to a switch, and then I have that switch connected to my laptop, and nothing else is connected because I want to make sure nothing interrupts this flash process. This processor costs a lot of money, and I want to make sure I don't brick it. So it's just my Compact Logics processor, the switch, and my laptop. So let's go ahead and set up an Ethernet driver first, and then we'll flash the processor. Okay, so in RS links here, I'm going to go to Configure Drivers. I'm going to go ahead and choose Ethernet IP and hit Add New. Select the default name. Choose my hardware. Go ahead and browse the Ethernet IP. And here I can see my Compact Logics. So now that I'm connected, I'm going to go ahead and start up Control Flash. Here I'll click on uh, the local directory. Go to Next. There's my processor already selected from the list. I'm going to go Next. I'm browse for my processor. And now I'm going to hit OK. Now apparently it's asking me if I want to use 24 or 20. I'm going to choose 24. And here it's saying that uh, my current revision is 20. The new revision is 24. And it's asking me if I really want to do this. And it's telling me that I need to make sure I keep this uh, laptop plugged into the Compact Logics during the flash. I don't want to let it be interrupted by any way, means, or shape, or form. Because if I do, I could brick my processor. So let's go ahead and click on Finish. You sure you want to do this? Yes, I am. And now it's warning me about the SD card which I've already yanked out, so I'm going to hit OK. And now, because this is going to take a while, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. And Control Flash has completed. And now we have a Compact Logics that's been flashed to version 24. And that's it for this episode of the Automation Minute.